This is Matt Biskey, and you are watching Winning Ways, the story of a season. And we're here with Vikings senior at right outside hitter Leanne Hadia. So, where are you from? I am from Mill Creek, Washington. It's about 20 miles north of Seattle. How long have you been playing volleyball? I picked up volleyball when I was in seventh grade. I tried out for the middle school team, and I started taking it more serious when I entered high school. So I was in ninth grade, and I started playing club volleyball. For our viewers who are not quite familiar with the club concept, could you explain the difference between club volleyball and high school? Yeah, high school volleyball um, is composed, a team is composed of just students from that particular high school and it goes on to make a turn, like goes to a tournament where you play other high schools. Um, club is a variation of girls from all over the area, all different high schools, and you play it for about six months out of the year and you compete in local tournaments as well as you can go all the way up to nationals. If you were not playing volleyball, what sport would you have played? I grew up playing basketball and I thought that I was going to continue basketball until I entered college, but I decided to choose volleyball instead. So, what made you choose volleyball? I love the family aspect of volleyball. Basketball is a contact sport which can get really aggressive and um, it never really put me in the right mood and I was always in a bad attitude and so volleyball I think is very upbeat and t there's a huge togetherness for it and I love that aspect of it. What made you choose to attend PSU? There was a lot of things that brought me to PSU. I really liked the coaches. My club coach introduced me to them when I was a junior in high school and the main thing I wanted from a college was a great volleyball program. I wasn't too worried about academics at that age. Um, I loved the coaches. It was a good winning program. But then when I came to visit, I fell in love with the city and all that it has to bring. Um, and I think it's beautiful. And I wanted to be close to home, but not too close. What's your most memorable experience now that you're a senior of your playing days at PSU? My most memorable experience would be last season, my junior year, when we beat Idaho State at their home gym to take the Big Sky title. I know we're a ways through training camp, so how long has that lasted and when did it start? On August 11th, we started our first training camp. We had our first practice and started double days. It's been about three weeks, and this past, turn, or this past weekend we had our first tournament officially kind of ending training camp and now focusing on competition. So what's the practice schedule like during the off season and then when school starts? How's it different? Mm -hmm. In winter we focus mainly on getting stronger and there's less playing with the volleyball and um, more lifting and more speed and agility type things. When it comes to spring we get back into the court and doing about um, five hours of training, three days a week and four hours on other days, and um, trying to get the team to mesh well for the incoming fall. And then um, during fall, there's we do about three hours of practice. We don't lift as much, and we mainly focus on the next competitor that we have and um, less technical things and more focus on what other teams do and focusing on how to beat them. What Can you describe exactly what tasks and assignments you have as an outside hitter? As an outside hitter, the, you get a lot more attacks than any other position on the court. As a middle, 
you uh, get limited reps, but they're faster as an outside. Um, when balls are out of system, which means if the ball is sent over and it's the ball is shanked and it's not at all near the net and someone's running, it's our job to still get an aggressive swing over the net to potentially get the other team out of system. Last season, you were one of the top middle blockers in the Big Sky Conference, had the highest blocks per set ratio in the, in the conference. So now this year, you not only have to fill that role, but you also have to do some of the outside hitting as well. How do you feel you've come so far as a two-positional player, considering that this is really the first time you've had to go through this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, in high school, I got the opportunity to play outside, right side, and middle blocker throughout um, my whole career. But at this level, I've only been a middle blocker. So um, transitioning to the right side has been kind of scary. But since I've already had that familiarity with it before, it's made it a lot more a lot easier um, and I think the last three years as a middle blocker has definitely made me more intelligent as a volleyball player and learning what to see on the court and how to read teams and what different shots to take at different times and that's helpful in any and as any attacker on the court so it's been difficult but it's a fun transition which position do you prefer to play? I loved being a middle blocker, I did, but I'm, as time goes on and I'm spending more time on the right side, I'm really enjoying that. What are your goals? I would love to be in the top 10 for our conference in hitting percentage. And at, last year I also led the conference in service aces per set, and I would love to be able to do that again. The team just returned from the Northwest Challenge in Boise, Idaho this last weekend. Could you describe the experience of playing in such a tournament and could you also explain what exactly those tournaments entail? Yeah, so the Northwest Challenge has been going on for seven years now. It's a tournament between Boise State, Gonzaga, Washington, and us. Um, each year it rotates who hosts and so last year we hosted it and all three teams came and kind of a round robin where we each play each team and there's no final winner or anything but um, it's just really good experience. It's a lot of fun being a part of this kind of tournament because we get to see the turn or see the teams each year. I've seen them four times now and they're different each year and some years we've beat up on them, some years they've beat up, beat up on us and um, it's been a really fun experience and we get to play in three more similar to it but seeing different teams that we haven't seen before. How do you feel the team did at the Northwest Challenge? I think the Northwest Challenge definitely brought out a lot of the things that we need to work on as a team. I think there was a lot of moments of greatness and great plays and great blocks, but um, there was an as much consistency. And I think for any program at the beginning of the year, that's a tough thing to find, um, just a good rhythm. So our coaches identified a few things that we need to work on and we've been working on them throughout practice this week so that when we go to Colorado for our next tournament, we have taken care of those things and teams will have to find a different way to beat us than the teams did at the Northwest Challenge. Thank you for sitting down with us today, Leanne. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.